this video this video is going to be called there is hope for immortality and biology okay so basically we're gonna go here and read my last post on Facebook okay this is my last video for my CMHC lawsuit and this goes into how intelligent I am and a lot of other things but there is very little hope for cell mapping accurately and there's a lot of reasons why and it's mostly quantitative and qualitative qualitative with spectral science that is quantitative and qualitative in all aspects of tracing but we can play with genetics CRISPR cloning propagating cells and polymers Virus science, PCR, certain spectra science with quantity quality issues, DNA modification, which builds the entire cell from the things the nucleus contains to create immortal cell lines. The mapping each polymer part is not easy if possible. Okay, this is all not a completely perfect science. Uh, but from what we have already gathered in the methods that we can use with spectro science, um, which is not extremely quantitative or qualitative, uh, it's in, in all aspects of quantitative and qualitative uh, with the linkable connections, uh, you know, there's some some size issues and quantity issues and how spectrometers and spectroscopy actually works in the end uh, there's a lot of quantum issues with it it requires much more um, complicated math and machine science and we don't have that yet so but what we do have like electron microscopes and chromatography, PCR, uh, flow cytometry or cytology or whatever it is. And then, you know, electron microscopes. We got, you know, P uh, UV microscopes. Uh, we got electrophoresis different kinds of electrophoresis then we got different motor molecules that do things and enzymes and we got a whole slew of half-ass kind of junky uh, spectro science that's what it's called that's the most important part of dealing in biochemistry and immortality that's called spectro science once you get all of that in order you also have the issues of the laws of chemistry and cells and, and um, molecules and polymers cannot be easily manipulated because of the laws of chemistry and this is also a quantitative qualitative aspect of how chemicals react um, they form species and not only that if they're complex complexities in, in the number of atoms or molecules or polymers that there are it can form various chain reactions so that leaves you with even more species and then you also have to think that it's not very direct uh, because of the, the mass volume quantity issue the mass volume quantity issue uh, is another thing that relates to quantitative and qualitative so we have issues all over with the general rule of chemistry and how light propagates through a medium um, how electrons propagate identities how we gather identities um, this it has to do everything everything has to do with identities um, 
but we do have the ability to identify things and we can use a computer generator to build things and it's possible to map out some things with some assumptions but like as far as being totally accurate or even accurate enough I don't think that we really are um, there's a lot there's a lot to learn still but it, there is hope that we can uh, mostly modify DNA and we can really cut cut across the the, the area jump we can jump ahead into the future just by modifying DNA to get to the point where we can create immortality with immortal cell lines. But that's that's a lot of science too, and there's a lot of spectroscience science involved. But uh, it, it, there's hope, but it's not for certain. So this is going to be my last video on um, uh, biochemistry, cell mapping, um, immortality, all that. I, I really don't know what to do. My next video will be a large video of spectro science. It's going to be a movie that I'm going to create with my program Polymer Code. That'll be the and it will show all of the physics that go into it'll be a cartoon, but it will show all of the physics that go into the quantities and qualities uh, spectro science and how it all works with all the systems all the potentials so thanks for watching